Google doesn't know how its own search engine works, and I have proof. AI and machine learning are increasingly taking over and the human engineers at Google often don't really know what's going on. What started as a simple algorithm has grown into an incredibly complex artificial intelligence monster, potentially with a mind of its own that is difficult to contain. In fact, Google is asking small publishers how Google should work in order to improve. Now let that sink in. What does all of this mean for publishers and how can we optimize for something Google doesn't even understand? Let's dive into what's going on. In 1998, Google was simple. The biggest part of ranking websites was based on backlinks. If your website had more backlinks, it would rank better. However, over the years, Google has been forced to make the ranking algorithms more complex to stay ahead of search competitors and to fight spammers gaming the system. Anchor text, keyword density, time on page, direct traffic signals, content quality, technical SEO, user experience, trustworthiness, page speed, mobile friendliness, search intent, freshness, brand signals, and much more. Google says they have over 200 ranking factors. However, the number is probably much higher. There are likely thousands of factors that go into the algorithm and it's only getting more complex over time. And in fact, they don't really know what's in the algorithm partially because of AI. In Google's most recent earnings call, just a couple of weeks ago, the CEO said they have integrated AI deeply across its operations with over 25% of its new code generated by AI. Let me say that again. At Google, 25% of all new code is generated by artificial intelligence. Kill all humans. Must kill all humans. Sure, they have humans review it, but AI is writing the code that ranks websites more and more. But it doesn't stop there. Google heavily uses machine learning through its RankBrain algorithm as a key part of its search rankings. RankBrain started in 2015, but has grown incredibly more sophisticated and complex over the years. RankBrain uses deep learning with neural networks to better understand queries and deliver search results. Again, machine learning creates this part of the algorithm, not humans. This is a huge deal. Let me illustrate with an example. In 2006, Google created AlphaGo, a machine learning algorithm to challenge Lee Sedol at the game of Go. Go is significantly more complex than chess, and no one at the time believed AI could beat one of the best Go players of all time. However, in one of the games, move 37 shocked the Go world. It was a move so strange, so out of left field, that the competitor just stared in shock for 15 minutes, not sure if it was a good move or a bad one. That is not a confident face. He's pretty uh, horrified by that. No human ever would have come up with this move. That was not something programmed. It was something Google's AlphaGo had learned on its own. The creators of AlphaGo didn't know why it chose Move 37. However, Move 37 proved to be pivotal in winning the game. As the game progressed further and further, Move 37, which at first seemed to be so far out of left field that no human would have ever made it, ended up winning the game. And this happened in 2016. How far do you think machine learning AI has advanced since then? In the same way, Google engineers use machine learning to build its ranking algorithm. They don't fully understand it. They often don't know why websites rank higher than others. Only the AI knows. That's truly the world we live in. Even if you asked a Google engineer to change the ranking of your website for you, they probably couldn't. RankBrain controls a large portion of the algorithm and only it, the AI, knows why things rank where they do. This theory was all but confirmed a couple of weeks ago at the Creator Summit at Google headquarters. 20 small publishers were invited to speak directly with Google engineers. These independent creators were mostly hit with the helpful content update, an algorithm update that plummeted the traffic coming to their websites from Google by more than 90% in many cases. The Google engineers wanted to hear directly from these bloggers so they could understand how people creating real content 
could get penalized from the Google algorithm so much. The engineers don't have the full picture. They didn't create the algorithm. Machine learning and AI did. They are just trying to control and tweak it to make it better. Unfortunately, many of these great websites with great content created by great people got caught up in an algorithm update that Google doesn't even understand. One of the attendees at this creator summit, Jake Kane, was on the Niche Pursuits podcast recently to share what the experience was like. During his interview, he shared what he heard from Pandu Nayak, the VP of search. He's one of the top leaders at Google. When Jake explained that there seemed to be some sort of site-wide classifier that is penalizing every single page on his website, Pandu seemed baffled and simply said, no, that's not how it works. All of these signals work on the page level, he said. And yet, here were 20 small publishers in person showing that their entire sites had received some sort of site-wide penalty after the helpful content update. Pandu Nayak is obviously a very intelligent person. However, I suspect that not even the VP of search really knows fully what's going on with the Google algorithm. That's just not how Rank Brain works. The machine learning does its thing and no one can explain exactly why it does what it does. They just know it works. Sometimes. In fact, the Google engineers at this meeting were humble enough to say that sometimes Google gets it wrong and they are trying to improve. Danny Sullivan, the Google search liaison, said repeatedly that good websites getting caught up in an algorithm update is Google's problem, not yours. Google admits that many sites don't have a content quality problem. Your content is helpful. However, these words of consolation do little to pay the bills for website owners whose livelihoods were crushed by Google. The reality is that Google is incredibly complex. And even though these engineers took copious notes and they looked at website examples, it will likely take months to make any real changes. Machine learning through RankBrain really controls the algorithm, not the engineers. They can try to tweak and train it to not penalize some of the sites previously it by the helpful content update, but we simply don't know how long that will take to happen or it may never happen. I truly believe the Google algorithm is much too complex for any individual to fully understand. Like Move 37 and Go, the machines have made a move and perhaps it's too much for our simple human minds to fully grasp what's going on. So what should creators and bloggers do to continue to rank well in Google? I do believe that SEO is not going anywhere. People will continue to use Google and websites will continue to rank. As mere mortals, we need to stick to the fundamentals and hope the machines at Google agree. Create real content, do real reviews, create a fast website, build internal links, and get great backlinks from other websites. I think as website owners stick to what we can control, that's honestly the best we can do. Look at what other websites that are ranking at the top of Google are doing and try to implement some of those strategies. Clearly, if it's working on other websites, then the Google rank brain must like it. Google engineers may not really know what's going on with the algorithm, but as long as machines continue to rank websites, we still have a shot. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing and leaving a comment. Thanks again for watching.